Someone once told me the great deeds start with small decisions. What if Christopher Columbus had not decided to explain his plans to Queen Isabella? What then? What if Marco Polo's father had not taken his son on his expeditions? Exploring is an age-old obsession of humans. From Maggie Yan to modern-day heroes like Neil Armstrong. And to think I have the chance to become one of them, it's a dream come true. Today I'll be setting off on a journey that will last 50 years, which will take humans further than we've ever imagined. Today is the day in which space will become too small for man. Joseph Wood, please lie down. We'll proceed with the first datil injection. One by one, the doses of opiate will slow down his metabolism to a dormant state. Let's start the hibernation process by injecting the first of three doses. Are you sticking that in me? Hey, just kidding. The procedure involves slowing down the subject's metabolism in order to enter suspended animation. We have to wait five minutes between doses so we do not induce cardiac arrest. Heart rate. All correct. in space, I can't see the sun, I'm lost in space, there's nowhere to run. Who do you prefer, the stones? Be quiet, please. To continue with the process, we're going to inject the second dose. Are you angry with me? The subject's heart rate will drop until he reaches control hypothermia. Concentrate on the procedure, please. We are at a crucial moment, and any mistake could seriously harm the subject. Claire. Yes, Mr. Wood. Are you angry with me? Mr. Wood, please. You need to concentrate right now. It is very important.
answer me, Claire. Do you hate me because it should be you going on this trip? It's that, isn't it? I didn't say anything. It's you who's saying all of that. Then why did you leave this morning without saying a word? Guys, you can leave. I'll finish up here. Claire, we need to just... No! So we sleep together. And you just leave. Do you want to ruin the project and make me lose my job? Do you know there's a chance we may never see each other again? When I return, Claire, if I ever do, 50 years will have gone by. I am aware of the project, thank you very much. And still you left just like that? Please, Claire, tell me why you left without saying. You wanted me to stay. What for? To hear you give a speech that I could have given. To see you get into an official car. To watch you fulfill my dreams. I'm sorry, but I couldn't. He was afraid that you would have stayed. And that you wouldn't have stayed. explain his plans to Queen Isabella. But if you studied medicine, like your father wanted you to, then we wouldn't have to say goodbye today. I'm crossing space, I can't see the sun. I'm lost in space, there's nowhere to run. What's that? When I imagined myself traveling in space, I used to play this song. 
to go where no one has ever been before. <laughs> it's your turn to listen to it now. I'm glad you're going instead of me. So when you get back, you can tell me all about it. Crossing space. Crossing space. I can't see the sun. I can't see the sun. Lost in space. There's no one to learn. begin. <laughs>